Hey all you LEGO fans, welcome to another edition of LEGO Technic Corner. I'm your host, Mark Rollins, here from the Geek Church, and today we're going to do something a little bit different here. I think last week I might have said that um, the show is going to be very short, and I believe this episode is going to be actually pretty short today too. Uh, actually, last episode turned out to be 50 minutes long, which is about 10 minutes longer than I thought it was going to be. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, so what do we got today? Well, today's episode is called Some Power Functions. And we're going to talk about something that if you can build it right, you can get your LEGO Technic creations to do some interesting things. And we're going to discuss at least two of them. Anyway, let's go back to the table and I'll show you what I've made this week. Okay, I got some stuff set up here. Um, some of you might remember last week I created this uh, thing here that will require it to spin. First, I had to use the gears here to make this little contraption here, and I'll explain more about this. But if you're interested in this thing, um, it'll spin like that if you put a motor to it. And I showed you how to do that last lesson, so you can't tell me that I didn't uh, tell you to do that, because it did. So anyway... Um, I got this thing, there's a battery here, I got this thing hooked up here, and I made this thing today. Now I'm going to show you what this thing is, I'm going give it to give it a close up here. Basically, this, imagine if you had something like a crane or something that you wanted to move like this. Something like, um, I'm not really sure how to describe this motion, but essentially um, the way you do it is pretty simple. I've got this motor hooked up here, and then it's got these gears, which power these things called worm gears. And these worm gears are great, because what happens is they can spin a gear underneath it by spinning itself. And the best part is, and I'll just do it by manually, see if I crank that, see that? That turns. And if I do it the other direction, it'll turn that way too. The best part about this is, um, if you... The worm gears will keep it solid, so you don't always have to count on the motor stopping it. You can count on this particular uh, thing stopping what you're trying to spin. But you got to make sure it doesn't spin off course or jam the gears uh, like I think I demonstrated in last week's video. Anyway, um, let me just uh, get this um, shown up here. Let me see if I get the power on here. Okay, I do. Okay. So this could be a problem here, because I've had issues with this. As you can see, kind of creating a windshield wiper effect. I don't really want to do this, but if these things go spin too far, they will jam up against this thing, which I don't want to do. And let's see if I can, uh, which way is it again? And yeah, once again, this, uh, once again, these uh, frequencies don't tend to align a lot. Hmm, what is up with this? So as you can see, and here's the thing, if you really want to make this thing pick up a lot, you can um, basically reinforce it uh, with another worm gear down here and just create some gears that'll make sure they spin correctly. It's kind of complicated, but it's also very interesting. And you learn how to make things that will move and function and uh, the best part is, it's all your own work. You'll be able to say, you did this. You figured out how to, you had a puzzle and you figured it out. Now, I'm gonna bring another thing over here. Now this particular guy is based off something from my books. Now he is essentially a forklift. You can see the little prongs down here. And you can probably figure out how this works. What happens is you just spin this and that moves that. Now to get this to work, I had to create this little, put this engine up here. There's probably better ways to do this. I couldn't figure out any better way to do it, but that's because here's the deal. As you can see, these racks are here and they are designed to essentially uh, follow these um, gears here. So when the more I twist this, the more it makes it go up. Pretty simple construction, huh? And this is in my book actually on how to assemble a forklift uh, 
um, thing. I believe I have it in my first uh, Lego Technic book and then in my second as well. But um, I think I might have also put it in my Mindstorms book, but I figured out a better way of doing it there. Because that's what this is all about, just figuring out better ways of doing the th same things you did before. Now, now we're going to try connecting this to the battery. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky. Cuz, just cuz, okay? Just cuz. Yeah, this is the one that might jam up on me. And uh, I could probably design it so the uh, gears might spin a little slower. But hey, okay. So that's in there. Now, let's see if we can get this to work here. I'm going to hold this at the right angle. Okay, is this in the... I forget which one this is in. Yep, yep, see? Jammed. Oh, look how fast that goes. Dang. Okay. Dang. You could probably do a lot with this, don't you think? Oh, yes, you can. Again, the instructions are in my book, and if you ever want to check that out, check out my books. Anyway, that's all the um, stuff I had time to make today. I wanted to do something else, but I didn't have time to do it. If I find the time to do it this week, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, hmm, it's also in my book, so hey, you never know. Yep, nah, yeah. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so you can see there's limits to how far I can uh, go with this. Eventually the gear will hit this and then I'll start rattling. You heard the kick, 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 kick. And if you keep doing it too much, not only will you damage the motor, your construction will probably start falling apart too. Anyway, that's all we've got for this uh, week's edition of Lego Technic Corner. Um, come back next week because I'm not really certain what I'm going to do, but if I can find the pieces to do this with, and if this works, it's going to revolutionize some of the things I've done. And it's going to add some new chapters to my book, I believe. That is, it's going to perfect the ones I already have in my book. Anyway, you should order my books if you haven't done that yet. But if you haven't, I'd understand. Money's tight. Hey, whatever. Anyway, this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church and Lego Techno Corner, signing off.